couldn't ask for a better week of weather. Although tomorrow's not meant to be as good, <laughs> unfortunately. I don't think. I think the, ex the exact time we're running is meant to potential rain. Seven peaks, seven days, 165 k's. Close to 8,000 metres elevation. So many k's, so much pressure. The week has been just so crazy. You know, my biggest week of running ever. Thankfully, we didn't have to go downhills. That would physically be a lot harder on the body. Going up the hill, it's just a bit harder on your, I guess, your aerobic system. Might have raised the idea, and Naomi maybe said, "You're an idiot. You, you, we're not doing that. You're not going to be able to do that." She came around pretty quick. I've like never done anything like this before, so like never done a sort of charity event and planned it from scratch. We tried to turn a negative situation into a positive. Last September, Naomi and I lost a little girl, Esty, at 25 weeks. We were categorised as low risk, young couple, you know, you, you're just locked in to have a, a healthy child, that's what, you know, you think. When you find out that that's not the way it's going to go, it's just a real shock. This is uh, the little girl that Jared and I lost. I like to do this just to think of him. This is really what the whole whole thing is about and um, yeah, it's how we sort of thought of Seven Peaks and why we wanted to um, raise a bit of money for Sands that um, helped me through probably the, the hardest time of my life. <laughs> this is the first time I've cried on this trip about it so... Uh, We started raising money for SANS, which stands for Miscarriage, Stillborn um, and Newborn Death Support. So it's a, a volunteer program where parents who have lost children in all sorts of ways, so miscarriage, stillborn um, or newborn death, volunteer at a non-for-profit and um, provide assistance to uh, grieving parents who, who have gone through uh, what Jay and I went through. So. Yeah, they really helped me through my sort of darkest moments. It's hard for people to really understand unless they've been through it. So that's where I sort of found the most comfort with, with um, parents who have been through it. I actually never heard of SANS before we needed them to do stuff for us. For something that so many families have to go through. They obviously are very underfunded. They do all the things that you don't even think about doing. You have to register a birth, you have to register a death. All these things that you never think you'd go through. After Jay and I lost Esty, um, uh, about a month later, they uh, organised a memorial for us. Um, and it was during COVID, so I really felt super alone at that time. They organised like a virtual memorial where um, they spoke about her and spoke about her name and um, there were other parents there who had been through the same thing so um, after it finished all these parents spoke to me and talked me through what the next you know few months were going to be like for me. These were all parents who were further down the track, you know, years down the track. And that was a real pivotal moment in my grieving process, being able to just completely let my emotions out and, yeah, get, get advice on sort of how to, how to handle it and where to go from there. Yeah. 
do this. Did you guys do any warm up or anything? We do a lot of uh, self care at night time. <laughs> so we generally just start. Yeah. Um, yeah, we get enough enough running in the week, so we'll just uh, just start pretty slowly, I think, yeah. and then just walk up any of the hills and wait till our legs find us. Do you have any pre-run ritual? I just follow whatever Dion does. He's the <laughs> pro. Dion says jump, I say how high. Dion says run, I say how far. I've been running for a couple of years and I've been doing a lot of stuff on the flat. I wouldn't classify myself as a trail runner or a pro runner or I think a lot of people in the lead up to this thought it was going to be a lot more elite than it was. We're just a couple of guys, I mean apart from down, we're just a couple of guys that, and girls that just want to get out there and have a good time. You know, you don't let pace stop you from going and doing something. Have a go at it. You'd be surprised at what you can get, get done. Normally you only see these roads from the cars and it's, you're travelling through these windy roads back and forward and you're sort of looking out the window and you don't really stop to take it in. It's just like, oh, there's another beautiful mountain range. Some of the scenery is so incredible that I feel like you, you have those moments to stop when you're walking and you're taking a gel on or a drink and you have more time than 40 minutes in the car to take it all in. So I think that's yeah, one of the best things about it. The first day when we went up Borbo and we had quite a big group of us going up together, that was like a really good bonding kind of feel. I think you get that little burst of energy when you have people popping in for a leg or two here and there, like that fresh face, kind of like when you're at a kick on, I guess. <laughs> Someone shows up and then you're like, oh my God, second win. You know, to have like Mark, Mark and Luke um, jump in for those first three legs was awesome. They did a lot of shooting and stuff for us and, you know, the more the merrier. I think you just need to start each day as a new one, you know, like just reset every day, you know, every day is a different one. Don't think about what's ahead of you or what's in the past, you know, it's just like today is today and today this is the task and I'm going to do the task and you know I mean every day when you wake up and you look at this and you're like I'm lucky to be able to run today like and to be able to be go up the mountains you know maybe it's gonna hurt maybe it's not gonna hurt whatever we'll, we'll see we'll just give it a crack at it and just you know have a go and every day I was like I just want to finish today and be able to start again tomorrow been great to see the support on like social media and like messages for people and like being like oh what you're doing is fucking unreal and yeah. it's such a epic journey we've been following you and every day you have like you know support messages from friends and telling you and the team that you know everything that you do is great the range of people that have contacted us and wished us well and random people that i haven't spoken to for years or haven't seen for a long time sending us donations or like sending us the most beautiful messages or feeling comfortable to open up about their own stories or struggles with the sort of thing that jay and i went through that's been really amazing we've been able to cause this little ripple effect where people are finding the awareness of sands and then also you know dipping into their pockets and helping us out and then the people that have even come over and joined us on some of the runs and done some stuff virtually with us and you know it's, it's been amazing the whole journey just meant so much to me this week and being on my own i think i really needed it um and the thing is i wasn't on my own because i know that I had her with me the whole time. I think I needed it. I needed the time to just be by myself in the, in the mountains with the memory of the girl that I lost. And I think it's all kind of hitting me at once now, but these are, these are happy tears because, yeah, it is a really big accomplishment and, um, yeah, it's, it's all up from here for sure.
seeing the guys run across the line at the end and being able to join them was just, yeah, it was really special. So fit, so healthy. Yeah, it was amazing. I was so proud. So it was about turning a negative into a positive and that's what we did. I could do another month doing this. My legs would be sore and I probably wouldn't walk after that, but it's been incredible.